Now, after I uh, released a uh, recent video with a uh, professional bike quad, in fact, uh, let me just get it here, which is this one here, and I noted that uh, the back reflector wasn't grounded. Now, in that video, I did say that that could probably cost you about 1 dB of gain, and uh, a few people have asked if uh, I could test that. They asked me if I could modify this and, uh, you know, ground the back reflector and see if there's any difference. But uh, I've decided to make uh, two bike quads here that are identical in every way, apart from this one is uh, not grounded to the back reflector. It's uh, got an insulator in there. And this one is grounded to the back reflector. I've got two identical alpha cards here. What I thought we'd do is just uh, test this and just see if we can see any kind of difference. Now, first off, I'm just gonna do a scan for wireless networks and then I'll pause the scan and uh, we'll compare the two at the same time just to see if there's any uh, differences in uh, the signal strength in those. But then I want to do a second test where I uh, do a speed test, the upload speed and the uh, download speed by connecting to uh, a connection that uh, I'll have set up in my garden. I'm here in the workshop, there's a couple of brick walls so it's not line of sight. Um, that test will show, I'm going to do that uh, one at a time though, so I'm going to do one first and then uh, the second one second and then we'll compare the two after I've done that. I just don't want to do them both at the same time because they might interfere with each other. Uh, not so much of a problem when you're just doing a Wi-Fi scan for access points, but when you're doing uh, you know, a connection uh, both ways, TX and RX, we can interfere with each other, especially if you've got them quite close like this. So uh, let me do the first test. We'll uh, test for the access points, see if we see any difference, and then we'll go on to the second test. So let's give uh, both of these a scan then and see if we can see anything with the access points that they just pick up. So I'll just give them uh, a minute to load up. We can already see that the grounded one is picking a few more access points up and that is uh, quite obvious but we should see the difference when we compare the signal strengths between the two. Right, so that should be long enough then. So let's stop the scan. And then let's take a look at some of these access points. So on the uh, ungrounded one here the isolated one the garden access point is 82 percent and on the uh, grounded one it's 90 percent so that kind of sits in with uh, my claim that uh, there's about 1 db of difference so let's have a look at a few more this sky one here this is uh, sky a8 and that's 79 percent and that's on the uh, ungrounded one and 86% on the grounded one so again yeah it's uh, a little bit uh, more gain on the uh, grounded reflector look at a few more this TP link one here 2.4 gigahertz on the ungrounded one is 67% and on the grounded one yep yeah, on the grounded one it's a little bit less so maybe that's a little bit closer maybe some of these that are closer there's not much between them, but uh, we've got Boncare here. This is one that I like to use as a range test. It's quite far away. 30% on the uh, ungrounded one. And here it is at 66% on the grounded one. So that's a big, big difference. And that is quite uh, a way away from here in the lab. Going through a, a lot of brick walls as well, I must say. But uh, yeah, you can look through these and you can compare uh, the same ones and basically overall the grounded reflector is a lot better than the ungrounded one now let's move on to the test where we test um, whether the upload and download speed of a real world connection is any different so we'll look at the uh, ungrounded one first and then we'll look at the grounded one second so this is uh, the first speed test then i've got the uh, router the test router in my back garden there's actually my garden wall 
and the wall here in uh, the lab that's separating them so they're not line of sight by any means but uh, we're going to test the grounded one first so let's give this a go and that's not bad for uh, to say it's not uh, line of sight I'm using an old uh, 3G uh, dongle that I've had for quite some time sorry 4G dongle and without line of sight that's not too bad so we've got uh, 16 for download 16.85 and 8.03 for upload so uh, let's give it a go with the other one and see if we see any difference so let's give the uh, second one a go then the ungrounded one and this is the speed test with the ungrounded one getting nine almost ten remember we've got 16 with the grounded one 11 is creeping up it's not quite getting it 10.59 so it's down on the grounded one the upload speed not quite six so down a little bit on the upload speed as well there we just hit six so 10.59 and 6.07 so you can see there is a difference between the grounded one and the ungrounded one so I hope you thought that test was uh, fair and uh, the clear winner is of course the grounded reflector which is I've, I've been saying that uh, for a long time now especially when it comes to a bi quad if you ground the back reflector you'll get a uh, better bi quad you're talking you know at least one db of gain more over an ungrounded one like this but of course they both work but uh, it's just that the uh, grounded one is much much more efficient and of course there are uh, different designs of antennas out there that you can't ground the back reflector down onto and you know when it's not a possibility uh, the next best thing is to have an ungrounded uh, bat reflector the uh, alpha antenna that i took a look at probably a couple of years ago now uh, we tried modifying that by grounding the bat reflector but it just messed the entire antenna up and uh, its center frequency was just knocked uh, you know off the uh, <laughs> nothing like what it's supposed to work at it just completely knocked the center frequency out of the park but uh, yeah as I said if you can ground the back reflector you'll always have a better performing antenna and uh, hopefully those tests just uh, confirm that for you so yeah if you enjoyed this uh, video hopefully it didn't go on too long then please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them and hopefully you found it interesting and you'll join me on the next one